Hello, welcome. Welcome back to another Rockcraft video. Welcome back to us farming some tin. I guess we could up the curse level maybe a little bit. Yeah, let's just go one more. Farming some tin to get the last weapon that we need to unlock. The weapon for the... The weapon for the... Arcane Weaver, I believe. I believe that's the final guy we need to unlock a weapon for. Decided to go for a little beast master build and we're going for a minion build as well as the name suggests a master of the beasts Maybe some war boars in there. Maybe some of those poisonous hounds Just whatever the game throws at me really but I want to go for a minion build and it's why my runes are very much suited for such a build as well So early crit never hurt nobody's gonna help us to get to the early XP levels and you need to get through the early XP levels before you can actually get into the minion builds, of course, because you don't start off with a minion skill right away, sadly. If you play the Necromancer, I think you do. I think he's named Necromancer, right? No minions, no minions, no minions, no minions, no minions. Ah, War Tiger. <laughs> Only cost us the entirety of our re-rolls for the rest of the run, but we do have a minion build going right now. That's really all I was going for. What else have I done today? Recorded another show some video before this. Came back from the family weekend, but I'm not going to go back into that subject because I think I have talked about that long enough already. Maybe at least for Souls and Survivors, maybe for other videos like a Diablo video or something, I will come back on it. But still, I, I don't want any of these. I think I'll go Firebolt for now, but I'm definitely going to want to replace it. The wound in my mouth is still there, so that's why you hear me talk in a weird manner probably or that's why it's very annoying for me to record but what else what i did also was try to record a league of legends game we did win in the end but it was not a pretty sight to behold i am I, I pressed stop record after the first couple of minutes into that game i was also in a bit of a bad mental state and a bit of a bad mood that was because my ad carry i was playing support pardon me my ad carry my marksman buddy down in the bot lane was gatekeeping me a little bit you know he told me or he didn't even tell me i hovered ash so i told my team like hey i'm gonna pick this character this specific champion so don't ban him you can always ban some champions in league of legends which means that nobody in the game can pick them that's how you get rid of some really annoying champions you don't want to play against and it's all fine but if one of your teammates is hovering a champion you know that your teammates are gonna play that champion so you're normally i would presume like all right not ban that one because he wants to play it this guy was like oh i had a bad ash support so one of the champions in my last game so i see you hovering it and especially because you are hovering it i am gonna ban it so he used this ban which you can use to exclude something like a yumi from the game a shako from the game a yone from the game he used it just to spite me just to say, no, you're not allowed to play what you want to play this time around. And that's so sad, right? Because, well, I was gonna play just one league game. I wanted to enjoy it a little bit, at least, just on my own. I wanted to record it to showcase some of the league gameplay. And then that guy just immediately ruins my mood by doing that. Which is maybe a bit of an overreaction by me having that ruin my mood. But yeah, I, I just, I really wanted to play some ash support because i've really really been enjoying that a bunch lately and this guy just decided in my place that i was not allowed to play it i think just the fact that i had no agency over the situation whatsoever made me the most sad right this guy was just like nope i had a bad experience with this champion i don't want him in my game and if you have that without anyone hovering it if i was for example not indicating like hey i want to play ash and I, I therefore didn't communicate it to him and he then banned Ash, I would have been like, oh, that sucks, but that's okay. No, it was specifically as a reaction of my clear communication and my indication that I wanted to play Ash. So, not a fun experience. We did win in the end, but it was not a fun game. It was not a great game for me either. Made quite some misplays, but additionally, I feel like, and this is of course the biggest fallacy in League of Legends players, my team was also not that great. We had a top lane Tristana, who was doing work. We had a mid lane Vex, who was doing work when it suited her KDA, otherwise she would stay as far away from fights as possible. Our misfortune was a bit of a ooh, ooh, ah, ah, monkey brain person. 
and then there was me going for i was playing trash i was going for the crazy hooks the hex flash flay i was going for amazing boxes i had my torn mail equipped so i had everybody attacking me and i was glad with that situation i was tanking everything and then all my team was just sitting there looking at me like what, what are you doing over there my man you going in oh that's cool all right see you later a bit of an exaggeration but that was how it felt sometimes it really sometimes felt like they noticed me going in doing everything i could and then we're just like uh nope nope not right now don't really feel like it at the moment maybe try again later buddy and of course it wasn't actually like that probably but again my feelings my feelings are the ones that were being hurt and therefore they are the ones that were important in that situation and that's why i decided to just bin the episode bin the recording and realize that i just had to focus on the game if i wanted to have a chance to win and i guess we did win but was it because my focus mm, probably not again didn't play all that amazingly that swimmingly myself but it was also partly because my mental state was just ruined a little bit right from the start and should i have or could i have done that differently maybe have my mental state ruined a bit less by the champion i was supposed to play yeah maybe but i really really was looking forward to some ash support gameplay because it's a very impactful support to play especially with her ult her ult is one of the most fun abilities in the game if you hit it if you miss it it's not fun at all and it really makes you feel bad in the end though i'm glad i just played one game of league of legends I have a little bit of balance i read a lot today already i can play one game of league i can record some videos and then I think after this recording session, I don't know how late it is exactly right now, but I'm slowly but surely going to start heading to bed. Maybe read a little bit more, cuddle up a little bit with my girlfriend. And then maybe watch a little bit of Sneaky and Meteosis co-cast of Worlds. Some of the most enjoyable content on YouTube I have seen in a while, in a hot minute. Although I did see that Northern Line started playing Super Mario Maker 2 again, which is also nice sometimes mario jumps sometimes he fists anybody that gets gets that reference fourteen thousand respect points because it's from like one specific northern lion mario maker 2 video revive popped been a while since that happened but i guess the curse level we are playing at is also just no joke and i was being a bit lenient i was being a bit careless as well so that is a big factor and there's also some enemies here that are really causing me quite a lot of damage move speed is gonna come in nicely I think I'm just gonna rotate a little bit around for a second, try to get rid of some of these towers because they are causing me a lot of trouble. And then we will start focusing on the bosses again. But yeah, Meteos and Sneaky. Effortlessly funny guys. And their synergy is like unparalleled almost, I think. They are both such, such goofballs that are not afraid to tell any story they want to tell and to say the most crazy shit. And they are also just very knowledgeable about the game. You can see this, I think, most blatantly, most obviously by Meteos so often completely predicting picks that are gonna happen in Champ Select. He's like, hmm, a Lulu would fit this team well, and then they pick Lulu, and he doesn't even brag about it, he doesn't even boast, he's just like, yeah, I did that, I predicted that, what you gonna do about it, you know? And I think that's a very, very great talent to have or well great it's not efficient for your life or anything but it's an impressive talent to have having so much insight into the psyche of all those players that you know what type of team comp they are going for and then also having so much knowledge about the game that you know exactly which champions fit into that type of team comp i think that is something impressive in its own way you know and I just love watching those boys together. Wild Strike does more damage for extra for every unit you have, right? So we should keep that skill for sure. Although I don't see it doing that much damage there, but either way. Or does it apply more debuffs for every monster you have? No. No, it does not. But I guess it should do a lot of damage. Hypothetically, because we have quite a lot of minions in here. Either way, I think if we just 
stay moving around and we survive a little bit that armenians will do the job and we will definitely go home with a victory and it will definitely be the last video for today because as i have told you umpteen times already the wound in my mouth is not helping me out not helping me out in the slightest what else have i been watching on youtube lately it's mainly been like sneaky and meteos it's also been a little bit of old school runescape content creators it's still boaty whenever he uploads a video i want to watch that immediately while falling asleep, it's been the Huberman Lab podcast by Andrew Huberman. I think it's Andrew. I know it's Huberman, but I'm not necessarily completely sure about his first name, which is, I guess, like a little bit of that quiz mindset, only knowing people's last names, because that's what they, that's what they normally ask at quizzes. That's why I also remember Lex Friedman, for example, another podcaster. Or, while falling asleep, it could also be Northern Alliance MID asshole subreddit reactions. Because he just gives a whole bunch of based takes. It's quite funny to fall asleep too. And I feel like, excuse me by the way, pardon me. When Northern Alliance is talking, I listen for quite a while and I stay up for quite a while because I want to hear the stories. When I listen to one of those podcasts, it most of the time like sitting through the introduction and that's something i remember listening to but then as soon as like the actual information starts my brain is just like oh it's time to sleep and i just shut off and go to sleep immediately which is okay because i'm not putting on podcasts that late at night to learn from them i'm putting on podcasts especially to fall asleep so it's absolutely no problem at all that i do fall asleep it's exactly what i'm looking for what i'm wanting out of it so that's absolutely a okay one more wave of bosses and they are already here almost and then we will have another source and survivor studio in the books episode 82 18 episodes remaining hopefully with a bit less injuries on the inside of my vocal instruments which are very much needed to record youtube videos i could also sit here in silence but don't think that's going to be the gr greatest content ever seen not that my other videos are the greatest content ever seen but my videos are great content for people that actually enjoy that specific type of content the second monitor content the having some background noise content the maybe falling asleep with my voice content maybe somewhere in the future although and this is something everybody will probably say from himself or herself but i don't think my voice is necessarily a good one to fall asleep to to fall asleep to rather especially not in this state where i can hardly talk, can hardly speak, but still, it would uh, be very inspirational to fill in the shoes that I have been listening to for so long, or, or something like that, you know? You know what I'm what I'm getting at? Because I, I fall asleep with YouTubers to be one of them, to kind of be in between my idols, be in the mix with the people that I really, really look up to in life. That would be an amazing feeling, and I already have that feeling. 222 or 21 subscribers right now amazing absolutely amazing growth has been stagnating a little bit there hasn't been too many new and uh, there hasn't been too big of an influx of new subscribers that's my revive instantly popped because i got hit by one ability i guess i have to pay more attention then so not been growing all that much anymore lately but it's fine it's fine there can be slower periods as well right that is allowed definitely should have not picked magnetic there that's for sure and then again all we need to do is just survive and we will be a-okay in this run normally i do say normally because well our revive got popped instantly last time so we can also just get one shot instantly that's for sure I'm quickly gonna try and move around the map a little bit more, maybe get some more tin if there is any more around here, like right there. Although I do believe that if we kill the bosses in the end, all the tin on the map just gets killed for us. Where are my monsters please? Thank you, they need to protect me because otherwise I am just a scared and harmless little petite boy. I definitely need my squad around me. A great analogy for real life that you need connectedness and people around you because otherwise you are very you are very harmless to life and you are very scared and you can <laughs> die just like i almost did right there but just stay close to the bosses here so that our minions can really get in there and get their hands dirty debilitating plague a little bit on the later side but i still enjoy your company that's for sure thank you very much for showing up 
Punch ball is on the left. Beer cakes are in the kitchen. Try to stay clear from Jerry from Ohio because he has had one too many to drink already this night. Uh, put your keys on the countertop or in the kitchen cabinet and just sleep on the couch if you feel too drunk to drive home. Not even if you feel too drunk to drive home. No, if you have more than one alcoholic beverage, please stay on the couch. Maybe more than two. I'm, I'm, I'm gonna be a little bit lenient, but not too lenient. I don't want to be the cause of any deaths. Also, Jerry from Ohio, if you see him, punch him in the face for me. He's never said thank you for me dedicating an entire Diablo 3 video to him. So I don't even know why I invited him to the party, really. Uh, also, please don't have sex at my parents' bed. Thank you very much for watching, everyone. Hope to see you in the next one. Hope my slur because of the wound in my mouth is gonna go away. And bye-bye.